Arbitrage betting allows anyone to make risk-free profits from sports betting, which is why I've documented 30 days worth of results for this particular video. It's successful because it uses the same logic as huge multinational companies like Bet365. Now, you won't make billions like Bet365 do, but with the Premier League and multiple sporting events on daily, it's quite possible to make a consistent side income, especially when you know where to look. Starting on day one, I fired up Excel to keep track of my results. I'll reveal the betting strategy, how it works, and where to find the bets that offer us a risk-free profit by the end of this particular video. But first, I need to explain why this works so well. Arbitrage betting is a very simple concept that requires us to bet on every possible outcome of a sporting event. It ensures a profit regardless of the result, because unlike traditional betting, we're not leaving the result to chance. Sound good? Don't forget to smash the like button down below. Sports books like Bet365 ensure a profit without predicting an event's outcome, and they do this by applying a margin to each betting line. For example, this Premier League match between Aston Villa and Crystal Palace has three potential outcomes. Villa win, Crystal Palace win, or it's a draw. The combined outcomes hold 100% probability of happening. Each individual outcome differs, hence their varied prices. If Villa has a 53% chance of winning, Crystal Palace has a 25% chance, and the draw holds a 28% probability, then the combined odds reflect this 100% probability. The odds provided by a sportsbook correlate directly with an outcome's expected probability. However, sportsbooks are businesses aiming to make a profit. Therefore, the odds they present include a profit margin, which is why the prices in that example are a bit smaller than their true chances. Now, most of the time, this reduction leads to betting odds at a negative expected value. To be clear, if an outcome has less value than its expected probability, this is a negative expected value. For instance, consider a coin flip with a 50% chance for heads and another 50% for tails. Fair odds should provide an equal payout. Anything below that equal payout is a negative expected value, while anything above is positive. Continually betting a negative expected values results in a loss. Yet arbitrage betting does the total opposite, as you can see from day seven's results here on the screen. Now you'll notice the profit per bet isn't that high, and that's absolutely fine. Arbitrage is supposed to be like that. It's all about consistently racking up results without any losses, although problems do happen, but we'll come to that more in just a moment. The point is, this strategy is about smart betting, not predicting the future. So how does arbitrage betting strategy work, and why is it guaranteed to beat the house? The goal of arbitrage betting is to compare different betting odds and only bet when it's a no-lose situation. Now, it's important to say there's nothing wrong with doing this and it's not cheating in any way. It's just plain smart. Soft bookmakers don't like arbitrage betting because they know that they'll lose. It's more profitable and far easier for them to target recreational gamblers. However, betting exchanges and sharp betting brands like Betting Asia welcome winners, so they're the best option for our bit. Plus, their business model means that typically they have the best prices. So by pitting odds against each other, we can secure a position with a positive return, just like this here on the screen. To the left of my screen, Bet and Asia have priced both teams to score at 1.756, whereas both teams not to score are priced at 2.021. However, if you look at the right of the screen, Bet365 have a different view. They've priced both teams to score of 4 to 7, which is 1.57 in decimal odds, and both teams not to score at 6 to 4, which is 2.5. By adjusting our betting stakes and betting on all outcomes at different prices, we're able to secure no risk profits just like this. A bet of 117.48 on both teams to score at 1.756 with Bet in Asia gives us a potential return of 206.30. By simultaneously placing a bet of 82.52 on both teams not to score with Bet365 at 2.5, we're also given a potential payout of 206.30. The total stake for both of the bets is just 200. So regardless of the result, once our stakes have been deducted, we make a profit of 6.30. Now there are lots of free arbitrage betting calculators online that make the numbers simple. The really good stuff comes from knowing exactly where to find good quality, consistent arbitrage betting opportunities, so results can really build up. 
two thirds of the way into this test illustrates that quite well. The more time and effort spent in finding the best odds matches means the bigger the results. So where are the best arbitrage betting opportunities each day? Now, regardless of your betting strategy, opportunity and value in betting odds are nearly always in the same places, out on the extremities, away from the most popular bet types and events. Much like the previous example, betting markets like both teams to score, unders overs and Asian handicaps are always best. Additionally, foreign leagues like the Danish Cup often yield the biggest arbitrage opportunities, but there are potential problems. Open arbitrage bets don't often last for too long. Now, it's a double-edged issue as it can work in your favor too, particularly on the countdown to the start of the match, but odds move fast, so if you time it wrong and odds change, you might need to adjust your counter bet state. Now, Betting Asia's black platform is good for this because you can choose your odds and set a timer on the bets in advance. Additionally, a lot of soft bookmakers like Bet365 will limit and restrict your stakes if you're not losing money to them. Having multiple accounts and using sharp brands like Betting Asia that give you access to multiple sharp lines are the easiest way to get around this. They don't penalize winners, just like betting exchanges, so it's a simple way of getting your ARBs on. Now, sourcing arbitrage bets can be done manually or via softwares like Rebel Betting to speed things up. So after 30 days, there were a total of 94 arbitrage bets. The daily averages were quite low, although they were extremely consistent as you may expect. The total outcome was 967.82 for the month, although it wouldn't have been possible without an unrestricted sharp sports book like Bet in Asia. So see this video for a full review of the platform here in the end screen. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.